8.1 Introducing Electricity and Simple Circuits Electricity is very important in our modern lives. We use electricity at home and school every day. For example, washing clothes, lighting, communication. Can you imagine what our lives would be like without electricity? For an electrical appliance to work, it must be connected to a source of electricity and there is a path for electricity to flow. This path is called an electric circuit. An electric circuit has three basic components. One, source of electricity and electrical energy. Two, device using electrical energy. Three, wire connecting different parts of the circuit together. Let's light up a light bulb by connecting a circuit. The light bulb does not light up. Do you know why? This is because there is a gap in the circuit and thus electricity cannot flow. This circuit is called an open circuit. The bulb lights up only when the circuit includes an electric cell and a complete path for electricity to flow from one end of the electric cell to the other. This circuit is called a closed circuit. When electricity flows through the circuit, energy conversions take place at the electric cell and the light bulb. Can electricity flow through all materials? Materials that allow electricity to flow through them are called electrical conductors. Materials that do not allow electricity to flow through them are called electrical insulators. A switch can be used to open or close a circuit. When a switch is closed, the path for electricity to flow in the circuit is complete. When the switch is open, there is a gap in the circuit and the circuit becomes incomplete. Let's explore more in the lessons!